This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. A very dangerous, severe weather situation could be unfolding for tomorrow night. Let's talk about it. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zachary Hall, otherwise known as the Arkansas Storm Tracker. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. Be sure while you're here, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, that way you're alerted anytime I upload. Forgive me if I seem tired or exhausted. I'm mentally drained, honestly, after the last 10 days. Uh, my life has been a whirlwind, and it looks like we've got one more big round to go through, and that's tomorrow. I'm filming this on Monday afternoon, and quite honestly, I'm, I'm very worried about severe weather potential late tomorrow night at into the early morning hours of Wednesday. I want you guys to watch the tornado parameters skyrocket tomorrow evening, starting around 7 to 8 p.m. The pinks and the purples start showing out on a scale of 0 to 10. We have sections of western Arkansas that are completely maxed out from Fort Smith up to northwest Arkansas. The scale doesn't get any higher. So, yeah, that's pretty alarming. I mean, when you look at something like this, that is a big red flag for rotating thunderstorms, possibly tornadoes, maybe even some strong or long track tornadoes. Now, I know some of you will probably see that, and it's pretty scary. It's pretty scary to me, too. But there's ways to analyze this properly instead of panicking and looking at the broad scale picture. First and foremost, what's causing this? Well, there's a very large and powerful upper level storm system on the way right now, and it will be here tomorrow night. Arkansas is positioned at the bottom right quadrant. We call this the right exit region. And in meteorological terms and, and context, this is a dangerous region to be in in this kind of setup. And most of Arkansas is positioned in the right exit region. This system is very strong and it's going to yank all kinds of thunderstorm fuel into the region and keep it there until the system can really pass us on to the east. So who is in and who's out for this system? Who is under the gun this time? The highest severe weather risk for right now is clearly from Little Rock West to around Fort Smith, south to around Texarkana and north up to Harrison. The red and orange shaded regions, these are a level three and a level four of five. Here's the kicker. There likely will only be a few storms tomorrow night, if any. Yeah, that's possible. We could go through this and the entire thing busts. The problem is if we get even one or two storms, they could be extremely dangerous, including the risk for strong, significant tornadoes, a big hail. And this is most notable in the orange and red shaded region that we just talked about. This specific model fires off storms tomorrow night after 5 to 6 p.m. and into 7, 8, 9 p.m. As you can see, these white blobs, this is lightning instantaneous flash rates showcasing strong thunderstorm development, and this goes through the late night hours. So as we go into midnight, 1, 2, 3, or 4 a.m., we could have thunderstorm activity, including the potential for isolated supercells. There is no need to panic about this. I understand you might be concerned. I'm concerned. But there's no need to panic and there's no need to go crazy about this. Just simply prepare now. Just prepare now. Prepare tomorrow morning. That way, if you choose to go to bed tomorrow night, if there's not any storms where you live, if you get a warning, you're not waking up at 2, 3, 4 a.m. in a panic and there's a tornado headed your way. I do not know about your exact town. I don't know if a storm is going to hit where you live. The National Weather Service has highlighted a broad region because that entire region is favorable for thunderstorms. As I mentioned earlier, we might only have a few though, so that's something that we'll have to watch tomorrow and tomorrow evening and see how that evolves. I will likely be staying somewhat close to home. I live in western Arkansas tomorrow evening, and I'll have a YouTube live stream up as always. Me and Frankie will probably be out patrolling storms and seeing uh, you know, what happens with that. You can also follow me on Facebook. Just search Zachary Hall, Arkansas Storm Tracker. I post all the time. I promise I'll do my best to keep everyone up to speed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to hop off here and eat some dinner with my family. Like I said earlier, I'm exhausted. We got another long day coming tomorrow. But I promise, as always, we've got this.